This is a story of extreme suffering and tremendous hope. The atrocities of Hitler and the Nazis are well known, but many people don't know that Joseph Stalin killed over 20 million people during his reign of terror. People often say to me, Ruta, I know my history. How is it that I have never heard this story before? I don't like to talk about this because when I do, my heart aches. It hurts too much. I've always been interested in my Lithuanian heritage and growing up in the States with a name like Ruta Sepetis, which in Lithuanian is Ruta Shepetis, has always raised questions. People hear my name and they say, what are you? <laughs> and I answer, I'm Lithuanian. So it's always been a part of my identity. But it was when I was in Lithuania meeting with cousins and I naively asked, so do you have any photos of my grandparents or of my father? And the room suddenly became very quiet. And they said, no, Ruta, we had to burn them all. We couldn't let anyone know that we were related to your grandfather. And that's when I knew that I had to tell this story. I did a lot of research in writing the book, and I took a couple trips to Lithuania. I met with survivors, historians, um, family members, members of parliament. I spent time in an actual train car that was used for the deportations, and I also spent time in a Soviet prison. There were so many labor camps across Siberia. I decided to write about the people who were deported to the Arctic because the conditions were just so unfathomable. We usually stack the dead bodies in a hut, but Romus was determined to bury her. So he chopped a hole in the ground. It took him two days to cut a hole with some kind of stick, but we did bury her. And then after that, we were totally on our own, and we were on death's doorstep all the time. One survivor in particular, Irena, spent hours with me and she gave me such vivid detail and I was so moved and I've incorporated quite a few details that uh, Irena told me about her family's experience into the novel. From inside one of the cattle cars packed with men, someone called to me and he pulled off his wedding ring and slipped it to me through the slat. You will need this to feed yourselves. Give this to your mother. You'll need it for food. And tell Romas, from now on, he's got to take care of the family. Then the soldiers grabbed me and dragged me back to the other car. That was the last time I ever saw my father. 